Hello everyone, this is Gina from the Autism Helper. I'm here today to show you a very quick tutorial on creating a picture-based schedule um, for your classroom, for any of your kiddos. This happens to be for one of my friends who's in a daycare. He's only two, but this is his first time in a structured environment. And any kid this age, um, the receptive language skills are not quite formed all the way. Um, a lot of kids may be able to understand a lot of verbal directions, um, but a lot of them cannot yet. And that's totally age appropriate. But this schedule will help out this little friend. And I have a feeling they might want some copies for most of the kids in the class. So what I did was I just do it in PowerPoint. It's so easy with formatting. If you have board maker, you can totally do it in there. I am using real pictures because again, this is the child's first experience and knowing what a table is, is just so much easier when he sees an actual picture of it. I'm not using an object schedule at this time. I think the pictures are going to be fine because he can visually discriminate very well with puzzles and other things. So matching the pictures to the pictures, I think are going to be great for him. So anyways, what I did was I just went ahead and um, pulled up a blank template. You can go to insert pictures and then wherever your images are I have um, taken them from my iPhone airdrop them to my MacBook made a file folder and then it was easy to just insert them so just go and insert them wherever they usually pop up like this if you do it all at once and then what I love about PowerPoint is it actually comes with some design ideas and sometimes this is kind of helpful so I actually like the formatting <laughs> of these right over here and it sized them all exactly the same for me right away. I didn't have to do anything at all. Um, and so what I would do next is maybe just duplicate this page several times when I print it off, or if I really like one of them, like this one he might need several times because we work at, he might go to the table a lot. And I'm actually gonna stretch it out just a little bit. And then you can Command C to copy it and paste as many as you want to the um to the paper um i also like to make and then here comes our design ideas again a little bit wonky with the sizing over here um and then i like to make my plan is to have either a smaller picture or say i want to do the circle time so this is where they sit for circle time so i'm going to copy this one so that when he goes over to circle time, there will be one of these bigger pictures there and he can just match it. So maybe I'll put it on the wall over here. I'll put this picture actually right here and he can match it to there. If you have several kids going to an area, I like to, let's see, have one of these. And then what you can do is I call them blank boards and you could either make a little table or you can do a shape here and again copy paste and you can make smaller versions of these and the kids can go up and put their picture on here on the on the blue square you could say go put your picture on the blue square or maybe you have smaller pictures of these that they match them to you can do it any way you want it's really dependent on what the kiddos need so that's just how you can make a quick schedule obviously i'll print these out i'll laminate them i'll cut them out and i'll put them on a strip board on the wall i think that'll be best for him and they'll just have a few of them to get him through um, the important parts of his day to support that language so i hope you guys find this helpful